Hello, and welcome back to another tutorial from Software How To's. If you missed a video before this, you might want to go check that out because this happens right after it. So, this is part two of creating an animation in a CAD program called LeoCAD. So, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to stitch all the frames together and add a few effects in Microsoft Video Editor, Windows Video Editor. So, let's start by opening up Video Editor. It'll open up photos. It'll take you to the video editor section of photos. Let's create a new video project, this red button up here. And this is the video editor. So let's start by naming it. Let's call this Awesome Oopsies. Videocad Video. Okay, and it's named up here. You can always edit the name right here. And let's add this PC. Let's add the frames. Let's go to desktop. All right, frame one through thirty. So I'm going to click open, and it'll open up all the files into the project library. Let's just wait for it to load. Shouldn't take that long because they're loading in pictures. When you load in videos, it takes a little bit longer. And they're all loaded in. Sweet. Now I can either drag them all right here or I can just click this place a storyboard button. And they'll all be in the storyboard. Now they should be all in order. One, two. Now you notice the camera is farther back than you actually see in the viewport because I had the bricks. Here, let me show you in the cut. I had this open a little bit, so if I were to close this a little more, I'd see more of the view that the camera actually sees. So we thought that the camera was really only seeing this, but there's just there's just a little bit of extra space outside of our little model. So you can see it changed its to black because it was a PNG, but it sounds black. But this is just for demonstration. You can make bigger models, cities, whatever you want to create, and then animate in this. So, if you notice here, we play it. Oh, look, it's a minute and 30 seconds. Wow, what a long animation. This must be great. Nothing's happening. Oh, look, you moved the leg. Okay, that's the problem. Each of these photos has a duration of about three whole seconds. That's a lot of seconds when you're doing frames. So if we click on this here, we scroll all the way over here, hold shift, and click on this guy. Start selecting them all, holding shift, all the way to here. Now they're all selected. Now all of these are selected, we can click this duration button, change how long the frames appear, and let's start out with, let's try 0 0.2 seconds. Click enter. And now they're all 0 0.2 seconds. Now let's play our animation, the preview. That's a little bit slow. So let's change these all to 0 0.1. So a tenth of a second each. It's loading, so it is a little bit slow. I think that's pretty good. Yep, that's perfect. So 0 0.1 seconds, depending on what animation you're doing. But for this, this works perfectly. You don't have to use it for all of your animation. Alright. Now that we have this animation, we can either add some things to it, like, for example, a title card, or text, or floating text, but I'm just creating an animation right now. Just using this video editor to show how to stitch photos. And there are many other video editors you can use to just put the photos in them, change the duration to a small amount, and then create your animation. But this is just one of video editor that comes free with a Windows 10-ish computer, and so it's really easy just to stitch photos in there. So now let's finish our video. Let's leave it on high quality, because who wants low when you can have high? Sure, it'll take a little longer, but this is like a three second video. Let's go to our desktop here. Let's 
and let's just call it awesome new cat video Click export and the export loading bar will pop up and with photos it doesn't just tell you oh your file's been saved you can click here to go view it in photos it has this little venue that opens up that has your video all ready to play so you can preview it this is going pretty fast And it looks like it is about done. Now it's going to open up the preview menu. So we don't have to click on the video ourselves. Here it is. And let's play this thing. Lifts up the leg. Puts it down. Turns his head. Lifts his arm. That looked pretty good. Of course that was a very small animation. And it took barely any time to make. But if you have enough dedication. And you keep making a whole ton of frames. And make a nice awesome world and then you can make some pretty sweet animations and if you have a world of time you can also render each frame which will make it look real but at the same time even if you do low quality it looks great but it takes a super long time to render each frame and no one wants that when you can just take a screenshot and it looks pretty cool so with LeoCAD you have endless amounts of bricks you can create endless amounts of places and I just found um, the camera option taking a picture using the cameras, a very easy way to stop motion animate, and I hope you like this. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe, and have fun animating in LeoCAD.